Going on a cruise will not always be the way you planned it as sometimes the unexpected might happen and a happy vacation you thought you were going to be on can now become a sudden nightmare. This was the case for many passengers that were unfortunately on board a number of cruises that ended up becoming the worst experience they could ever have. Just before we get into the video, I'd advise you to watch closely and subscribe below so you can avoid going on cruises that will ruin your vacation as this channel is all about giving you the information you need to make sure your cruises will never become a nightmare just like the ones I will share with you in this video. Alright, let's begin. Now, when it comes to disaster cruises, it will be hard not to mention one of the biggest cruise disasters to happen in recent times, which is now dubbed as the infamous Poop Cruise. The Carnival Triumph was supposed to be a great cruise vacation for many on board, but unfortunately, that's not what had happened. Imagine going on a cruise for you to have some fun and relaxation, only to then disembark from your cruise worse off than when you had initially boarded. Well, this was the case for many passengers, as at the time, it was reported that Carnival Triumph had lost power while at sea back in February of 2013. This incident had occurred after there was some unsuspected fire that erupted on board, which had disrupted the whole electrical operations of the cruise ship and was said to be the main cause of the power outage. On that day, it was said to be about 4,000 passengers plus crew on board. This was especially sad because they all had to live and work on board without a proper working infrastructure or a plan set in place as the toilets on board were no longer in working order. So what do you do if you can't do the do, especially in your own privacy? Well, that's the thing. No one really had privacy anymore and would be pretty much stuck out at sea for at least about a week at the time as the ship itself would not move due to the loss of power. This was especially a hard time for those on board during the disaster but now we hope improvements have been made to cruise ships to ensure there's always a backup supply of electricity so in the future these nightmare situations can be further prevented. The next cruise ship disaster to happen was also one to happen in recent years and maybe even one of the most shocking cruise ship attacks you will probably ever hear about. As back in November of 2005, a luxury cruise ship known as the Seaborn Spirit was just sailing off the coast of Somalia, carrying about 300 passengers including crew members. This particular ship was not one of the biggest due to its size, hence why I believe it was a strong factor that may have encouraged the pirate attack in the first place. You see, generally pirates do not attack passenger vessels, especially the huge ones, as they can be easily overpowered by the sheer number of manpower that would have been available on board. However, you wouldn't expect a pirate to be particularly smart enough to calculate any of these situations as their main aim is to loot, steal and maybe even hurt the innocent and it was down to the quick thinking of the captain and staff on board that the seaborne spirit was prepared well enough to escape by using tactics to evade the pirates and prevent the attacks from becoming successful. Another cruise ship disaster to happen in recent time was of the story involving the Costa Concordia. The Costa Concordia was scheduled to be sailing off the coast of the Giglio Islands in the Tirhianin Sea. There was nothing particularly wrong with sailing on that day, until there was said to be a lapse of concentration by the captain, who was not particularly paying attention to how close the ship was approaching the shoreline. This happened back in January of 2012, with more than about 4,000 people that was accounted for on board at the time. Unfortunately, a few people did not survive the incident, and it has been dubbed as one of the worst cruise ship disasters to ever happen. Even until this day, it is shown that the disaster cruise is still within the water capsized and will forever be a talking point for many cruisers. Even though it may not seem like it, but cruise ship disasters are very rare occurrences with only a few that ever ends up ever being fatal. Cruise ships are meant to be a fun and safe place to enjoy a great vacation, that's why 99% of the time this will be the case. If you check the links in the description, you will see me sharing valuable information about the cruise industry such as pro cruiser tips, hacks and how to make your cruises a more enjoyable one. So make sure to check the links in the description. Now for the next cruise ship disaster which have been dubbed as the most popular in history and goes all the way back to about 100 years ago. The RMS Titanic has become a legend in the world of cruising, as at the time it was named the largest passenger cruise ship and was thought to be basically unsinkable. It was the maiden voyage of the cruise though that the ship was loaded and expected to arrive at its destination, in a few days time heading from Southampton to New York. But unfortunately, tragedy had struck and it was in the early cold morning out in the Atlantic Ocean that the RMS Titanic had collided with an iceberg. It was said that the watch person on the lookout that night was late to spotting the iceberg in the ocean so the captain had very few choices in that moment which would mean he could either try and direct the ship to go around the iceberg but knowing it was too late for them he then decided that the ship would be powerful enough to break through the iceberg well who would have thought 
that would have been a big mistake as the ship couldn't bear the brunt force of the iceberg as it had appeared to be small on the top of the water but surprisingly the iceberg had a huge chunk of it and a bigger mass hidden beneath the ocean. Unfortunately at the time the technology there was very limited and not as good as it is today and the help they needed from the other boats couldn't arrive soon enough which meant that lives were lost due to this tragic incident with only a few survivors. The lifeboats on board was said to could only accommodate for about 30% of the ship's capacity so in the modern day of cruising there has been some changes to the cruising industry because of this incident. Lifeboats and life rafts of the cruise ships are now required to be able to accommodate for every passenger and crew on board while still being able to have more space and seating available. This way passengers on board can feel guaranteed of a spot if needed to evacuate a cruise ship in case of any emergency. It was in 2020 that the next cruise ship disaster had happened as it had affected the whole industry and not just one cruise line. It had affected everyone globally as well but this disaster was particularly very horrific and scary especially for those on board cruise ships at the time. It all happened February of 2020 and at the time I was scheduled to join my new contract to go on board a luxury cruise ship but unfortunately Unfortunately slash fortunately, a lockdown was mandated throughout almost every country, meaning no one in, no one out. I couldn't get to travel to my contract that I was assigned for and those who were on cruise ships were stuck at sea for weeks and even months without even a sign or a clue of knowing what will happen next. It was truly scary times as I could imagine for everyone on board and how much frustration could develop out of not being able to control whether or not they could leave as people on board were forced into quarantine, was given instructions to stay away from each other, wear masks and even developing sickness on board without valuable medical attention. It is good to see now though that cruise ships are back on track with their regular routine and passengers are back to having a good time on cruise ships. But for those who were trapped on board for weeks and even months at that time, I would say 100% they did not forget that time in history. Another cruise disaster to happen is when on board the Carnival Vista, passengers were suddenly awakened in the early morning hours to the sound of rushing water flowing within their staterooms and the corridors of the ship. It was a very unlikely event but by now I think we're clever enough to understand that there's rarely ever a 0% chance of anything out of the ordinary not to happen and the flooding of Carnival Vista had become one of those unlikely out of the ordinary experience for cruisers. The incident was reportedly caused by broken pipes on board and luckily enough it wasn't a case of the ship taking in any water or sinking in the ocean. But regardless, having a flood on board a cruise ship is probably one of the biggest fears a cruise passenger could ever have or could even ever think of as the only thing you could think of then is that the ship is going down like the infamous Titanic. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the information from this video, I'm now asking you to leave a like, comment below any of your experiences that you've witnessed or have had on board any cruise. Share thoughts and stories with us below. Also watch my next video that you may see here on the screen, it's Onik your cruise employee and I'm out.